<laughs> wow. Guess where we're at again. Yeah, we are at the dork table, and that's about as dorky as you can get. Fun dorky. <laughs> Dingalicious. <laughs> Why yes. that gives me ideas. I think I will experiment in the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> with your dingling? I will not say at this time. <laughs> Get back to me later. <laughs> oh, what is that? I don't want the technology of the 1950s, but I want the free market of the 1950s. Oh, hey, I agree with that. Yes, I do. Oh, uh, please. The money was rigged back then, too. Yeah, but I still like it better back then. Capitalist. Eh, you greedy well, people okay. are all crazy. Wait a minute. 50s? What? Okay, I, I just barely made it, so I didn't really experience the 50s. Darn it! See? Aha, there you go. I was I even know. born until 59, and I'm old. No, wait, you're older than me, huh? Yeah, I am by you're month. You're the older one. I know. I'm an older woman. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, you're the older one. I know. I, I've been meaning to catch up to you, Miss Mary. Oh, yes? Oh, good yes. God, you're doing that creepy voice. Damn it. <laughs> so where are we and why are we here and all that? We are at the dork table here on reallibertymedia.com channel 3 and all of the other RLM and um, and um, and um sites. And uh, right yes. now I'm liking and sharing um, over on Twitter real quick. Oh, you're twittering. I'm twittering. I'm a twitter. Are you all a twitter? <laughs> oh, eBay. Twitter. I haven't even opened my Twitter in months. Oh, see how you are. Damn I hate it. groups. I don't like to join shit. Uh, well, yeah, I kind of noticed that. But, yeah, you're just kind of goofy. That's okay. <laughs> Which, you know, I think you have to be goofy to be a dork, right? Right. right. I, I suppose, but my wife prefers to call me ogre. Oh, See, and I can look yep. at you as a gnome. You're a little garden gnome. And wow. nobody gnomes the trouble you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't take them long to learn. When That's they push true. It. That's true. So. Oh, well. Anyway. Vinny is over here on Twitter as well. Hey, Vinny, I see you hey, tweeting hey, us out. Hey, Thank hey, you, hon. Hey, and Barman tweeted us out over here as well. And I'm still sticking at the 375 stalkers. And that's okay. That's okay. Because if I get too many stalkers, then I'll just be run ragged trying to run away from them. Um, oh, right. This is going to happen. Well, yeah. I know. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, bleh. okay. I don't see anybody playing along over on Mines. I'm really, I'm getting a little bit disappointed with Mines. I think I'm going to have to start really expressing myself in a more forceful manner. Well, no, it's the format of the um, site that gets you the attention. And, hey, beside that, how many people got time for things like this? Frivolous shit on a Saturday. Oh, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the, you know, the this is supposed to be a censorship-free place. and mm. You got censored? Oh, yeah. Really? Uh -huh. I haven't been censored. Yeah, so I'm I'm not real impressed with, and you know that gave me really? a little bit of a butt hurt. So, <laughs> well, well, you know, you remember your days from running a site. You yes, know, there I are do. Things that people like to promise that they can't they can't guarantee. Yeah. In a proper fashion that yeah. should be free, and it's beyond their their own problem. You know, it's beyond their ability to to protect you. Well, I don't want anybody to protect me, but I just want, I, I, mean, no, I no, feel as though call them out not, when okay, they protect you, meaning not to stop you from voicing your fucking opinion, that, that, whatever that, 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 that. Jeez, you, well, sometimes you correct me and I was right, woman. <laughs> <laughs> but mom. But mom. <laughs> I, I know. Break him this time. Let me have my brother back. Oh, okay. Well, in any case, over here on Freedom's Network, that effing side, I see Grimmies over here Good. as well as the lovely T D Sanders and she's sharing Jeez. some really cool stuff over here. Um and I also see ooh, Bob Renner and Rob Works over here. So hey. The yeah. Bobs. The Bobs. The and bu Bobs. Yeah, and bubblers. Bubblers. We like bubblers. I don't know what's going on over on Facebook other than if you think the Tide Pods are good, try the cotton candy in the attic. Ooh. <laughs> wow. 
I'm just evil enough that I would tell someone that I did see four. Remember four J's from WT? He um, shared something over on Fakey Book the other day. Apparently, uh, there's a new challenge. Idiots putting their forearm on a hot electric stove burner. Hmm. That's It's the burner challenge now. Hmm. And cool. he, he had a video, and it's like, oh, good God. Really, stop putting those labels on products, you know, the ones that say not meant for internal consumption, because we've obviously stopped weeding out the idiots and morons. <laughs> Jeez. Good Well, God. no, they've been social norms, okay, amongst your peer group, dear. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like you don't know what's going on a hundred miles away from where you're at, but you think you do because you've got internet and newspapers, but you don't. Yeah, well, that's you true. You only know what you're fucking told. So whether this stuff is even real or not, if it happened once, it'll be epidemic be according to the MSM by 10 o'clock that night. That's true. So that is true. Pick and choose your knowledge some things i don't know man maybe they're not worth even knowing you know what i mean miss mary that <laughs> well it could very well be it Poisonal could very well opinion. be hey are we getting Poisonal. to my favorite room yes we are we are at the rlm where you need to be oh, if you want to no. give us static no. yeah and right up top is barman and he's just way cool he's a bot and he's a the bodiest bot ever I was being static. I know you was. I know you was. I also see Grimner and Moose Girl are here after staying up half the damn night doing that freaker's ball shit. Them <laughs> damn Christy young people. Um, oh, hot coil challenge. Thank you, Grim. You showed a video oh. last night. People are freaking morons. Mm -hmm. Morons or maroons, depending on how where you put the emphasis. I also see the lovely Kate is here. Hey, Kate, how are you doing, hun? And Asmo, and the lovely Beth Z, Beth and Z. yeah, and Chalcedony, oh. and Circle is here. Hi, Circle. Hello, honey. How, how are you? Honey? I also see uh, a double dip in a Chloe. And Gramsy oh, Dork is here. Oh, Gramsy oh, Dork and Dozy Dork and Little Lambs Eat Ivy. I, uh, Mary <laughs> is here too, everybody, yes. for you to listen okay. to. Amen. God, there you go with that freaking freaky ass voice again. Damn it. <laughs> I be Don C is here. You know that I makes my butt Don pucker when you do that. <laughs> Jeez, Java Pete. Doctor 2. Java, 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 Doctor 2. And J. Dread Hansel is here. I'm selling all my Starbucks shares as soon as I can find a broker. Oh, there you go. Well, if it's broker, don't fix it. Um, okay. <laughs> da -dun -da -da. I, apparently, Rob Works is extreme center. He is so center, he just worries about himself. Good job, Rob. Um, da, 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 da. I also see JJ's. JJ's. JJ's, JJ's. <laughs> and Juana Juan Taco. Taco. And P. Bunyan. Timber. Timber. Oh, hey, Wait, hey you got the sound that effects. That time. Yeah, but I, I did the first before I said Timber. <laughs> I'd be a lousy man. I'd be one of those killer tree trimmers. <laughs> I also see Rain is in the house, as well as, oh, now here's here's your creepy voices, honey, RLM fluke. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's back, yes. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, we, ha we have an extra hard drive for you to look at today. Fluke. That's <laughs> extra hard drive, huh? <laughs> yes, and, and with any luck, I, it will have memory, too. Aren't you just so glad that you no longer have to worry about floppies? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. I, I know. didn't even start that one. That one. <laughs> you got it. You went. <laughs> yes, I did. I also see Rob Works, the bubbler guy. Bubbles. And looky there, trust no one is here, that untrusty feller. <laughs> by gosh and by golly. Vinny the Pooh. Vinny the Pooh. Vinny the Pooh. Do, 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 no. do, 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 Can he, you just he, see Vinny in a Winnie the Pooh suit with a jar of honey 
with all the animals following him through Arkansas. <laughs> yes, I could, but I could also see him in a T.I. Double Gutter suit, too. <laughs> he would be a Vinnie hey, the Vinnie. Double Gutter. <laughs> wow. He does make it easy to do this. You know, it's yes. not like we're looking for things to th say. He, he just throws them at me. Yeah, and you run with Thank it. You we all do. Vinny's so good at that. I also see a double dose of Woodman. Woody, 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 Woody. No, Woody Pecker. Uh, Woody Pecker. <laughs> How I much wood would a Woodman chuck if a Woodman could chuck wood? I don't no, think he'd chuck wood, but I think he'd do Bitcoin. used to call Woody Woodpecker Woody Pecker. <laughs> Woody Pecker? Ah. Three years old, run. she loved Woody Pecker. I was ah. like, no, honey, that's not how you say that. <laughs> okay, is Dad, it, Woody is Pecker, it, Woody Pecker. Is it Splinter never... or the Mighty Sequoia? I don't yeah, want to know. It was a very innocent thing at the time. Well, yes. But she couldn't say Woody Wood Pecker. She always just cut the wood part out. <laughs> maybe she was just efficient for her age. I'm not really sure. <laughs> she, yeah, well, maybe. You never know. I also see Colfax 101 is here. As well as Dakota and Tim. Uh, did you just uh, belch? <laughs> yes. Me? No. Good one. That, Dorky that Lynn is here. Dorky yes, Dork Lynn. Lynn. Hey, Miss Dorky Lynn. I also see Flash Rooney, and I'm talking to Flash Rooney right you now. Know, I'm sorry. Flash will not be here. I will be here. For oh, Flash. gross. No, we can't have that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Frumpy, how you doing? How Hi, you Frumpy. Doing? Hiya, Frumpy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> a woody coin. Mr. Trudeau said to send a very special hello to Mr. Frumpy. Oh, there you go. He said something about so long and thanks for all the fish. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, love you, bye. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> hey, Kate. <laughs> Hi, Kozu. Zoo. Bible Belt Unis. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know that I want to go there. Um, let's see. Mm, bot and moy. Moy, 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 moy. I also see poxified and pop pon pon sauce. And Slim Jim Flim. And the cuddly one, Teddy. And to round out the crew, the one, the only, the fan. Well, no, because he's Phantom too. So is that the new and improved Phantom? Holy smokes. I hadn't thought of it till just now. Huh? We must hide. Hide in the bunker. It's hide. the phantom. It, it's the know. phantom. Oh, Scared. well, guess what? I made it all the way through and 16 minutes, and I just belched. <laughs> wow, what is this? I don't know. I'm like in overachiever mode. At least so. Yeah, yeah. So what are you been up to lately? Anything fun? Oh, well, you had to throw that fun word in there. Um, mm -hmm. well, define fun. Before you answer it, <laughs> mm. you know, your chains and whips might be my toothpaste and uh, olive oil. Who uh, knows? Olive oil. <laughs> yes. Um, that ah, was a stretch. I was mm, reaching. No, I'm just, I'm just basically just kind of just hanging, just, just doing my thing. And right now what I else? have, I have a Bubba laying his head on my lap and he's looking at me like, oh, mama. You know you want me to get on your lap, but no, I do oh, not okay. because he's like ninety pounds. He's a big uh, boy. What baby you are? Swear. Yes, I am. I'm a wussy. Well, besides the fact that he'll crash my computer table, but that oh, tail well, is just that, a wagon. There's always that. Yeah, Bring there's always the that. Why do women always tell you the point at the end and the beginning is like, <sighs> okay. It's all backwards to me. I, I don't know why I bother. <laughs> That's because you're a guy, and hey. it is backwards to you. And see, yeah. right now I have a four-legged guy that has shifted from having his head in my lap to now it's tucked uh -oh. under my arm, and he's uh -oh. nudging me and trying to get uh -oh. me to, please, Mama, pet oh. me, please. Please, you, you know you thing. want to pet me. <laughs> you're so, you boy, you suffer dearly there in Oz, I'll tell you that. Yes, I do. Do you remember, you know, Oz was the name of a male prison program on HBO? Oz. Yes. Yeah, well, you live in an Oz. I don't know. 
I wonder if there's any connection to that. No, I live in anyway. Oz, as an A-H-S, Oz. So my hobby of the week this week, mm -hmm. I was uh, I was exploring lately the world of medicine. Oh, you were? Because, That's good, because Woody just said no anal probing aliens for him, so. Well, they're, you're the first one they're going to find then. You already told them you don't want them to stop. They're going <laughs> to. You should do what everybody else does and put a sign up, welcome aliens. They'll never show up that way. Oh, Anyhow, yeah, that's true. So I've had this quest for the truth over the course of my life about, you know, the shit that people have tried to convince me is real. Uh -huh. in life. And one of those things is medicine. And I didn't get, uh, I had a pretty good run for, till I was about 44. And then I had uh, hernias. Now, mm -hmm. that required surgery and da-da-da. Anyway, but what happened after that was what kept me ill. Uh-huh. That was going to the fucking doctor. And it took me a little while to get away from that to see, wait a minute, these are the fuckers that are making me crazy, sick, and all this other shit. And now I found a doctor's uh, links. They're about four years old. She's uh, on the... The watch list, you know, for being a, a domestic terrorist. I mean, she, her credentials are good. Yeah. On both sides of it. Well, I've been so psyched to finally hear somebody from that profession come forward and define all this shit that I thought, so to speak, mm -hmm. and dodge. And, well, I gave people a lot of trouble, and they told me oh, for years and years, oh, no, you're wrong. And now it's changed. So... And now there's proof out, out there available to us to have these things that we've been taught explained in detail to what does, um, you know, by the book mean? Because when you hear something like that uh, in a medical place, oh, it's by the book. You know, those are within the guidelines. Yes. What we are not taught to think about is, A, who wrote the fucking guidelines? And B, what are the guideline based, what lines based on? To write about them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, these are the things that have had my attention, and there's been no uh, no input to feed me to answer my questions. I've just gone on raw anger and defiance. <clears throat> and now I feel I have proof. Only one doctor, but that's, you know, that's a beginning. Uh, well, yeah, it is a beginning, and, I mean, she's just flat-ass coming right out and saying it. Some of the doctors mm -hmm. that I've been listening to, I don't know that they necessarily have dealt in the hospital setting, so therefore they can't give you that kind of information. So it's it's good to have someone that has been in that setting, you know, and knows how this shit works. Because, wow, that one part in that video when she, where she was saying that, that the hospitals actually make more money off of a patient that dies while in the hospital than one that is released. Survive. Yeah. yeah. Bubba, get down. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's that that right there. And then she said, you know, they give themselves the plausible deniability with the whole, well, we did everything, proper procedure, mm -hmm. so you can't even sue them over this mm -hmm. shit, which suing, yeah, right, all that does is just make lawyers rich. But... <laughs> You can't even go yeah. out and shoot them. Damn it. Well, be, beyond all the details of of the diabolical shit that's gone on, it, all it really is is a manipulation of words and yes. how you present them. Well, what the this, this system that we've lived under our whole adult life and as kids was pitched to us as freedom, a republic, and a this and a that. And when, here I am, 58 years old, and I'm finding out what it really was, which is what I was really being told by other people in my 20s. Now it's it's all seemed to have been proven itself true, but the indoctrinated will not listen. They don't want to even fucking hear it. Take your hippie shit the fuck out of here and go away, o Jose O. <laughs> Jose O and Hose B O. But uh, that the indoctrination in the the 
the modern day man, the guy that has a job and responsibilities and picked a side in this fucking uh, political crap and goes to church and all that shit that they got you conned into doing. Mm-hmm. He's the guy that says, I'm free already. I don't need you, boy. What you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then we're kind of, and we're, so here we are, we're just entertaining ourselves and our close friends, so to speak, because new people ain't going to happen. Well, and see, I don't, I don't do it for, for that, you know, for no, fame. No, 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 but, and, but yeah. wait, 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 I'm making a point about yeah. the likelihood Bye-bye. of this fringe ever growing is just not going to happen because the shepherds keep pulling the sheep that stray pull them right back in as fast as you can get them oh yeah all right i i too didn't get banned or or stopped but i had what what hands calls me what is it a troll i had a troll bashing the um meet your straw man link last night or yesterday or something Mm -hmm. oh don't be handing me your hippie bullshit son i know better than that Wow, <laughs> you're so smart. Why are you complaining? <laughs> That's yes. my question. My government's got problems, but they're not for you to fix. Yes. Whoa. Okay. So, see, that's what I mean is if you offer any uh, any suggestion to these broken people, the fucking best they can to tell you is to mind your own goddamn business and leave them alone. That's what I get. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. You know what? Grimmy just made it. Wow. This is like an Acme light bulb moment. Um, to him, it just points out that kids crave Tide oh. Pods as a withdrawal symptom from all the vaccines. And holy shit. Uh, who, I don't know. That's a possible, you know, after all the the information I've received, Mary, mm-hmm. that makes sense. In yeah, that, it does. So sick. Society has taken whatever sick to be normal. They're yeah. pushing all the weird shit t- right in your face, and if you if you fight against it, you're uh, they've got a new name for it. Your um, there's I have to re- it was in the link ooh and I lost my I lost the word for it. But if you argue with the government now, there's a punishment for arguing and a and a mental illness for arguing against authority. Oh, I remember reading something about that. Mm-hmm. And. All they got to do is just beat the slav- slaves hard enough, and they're going to be agreeable. Sure, there's that's a mental illness talking bad about the state. You can't talk about the state. Well, you know what? It, the state is a bit of fucking dirt you're standing on, sitting on, walking on, whatever on. It's not anything more than something in your mind. It's a joint goddamn illusion. We just all agree it's real because that's what we've been taught to do. We're not self-sufficient, so we have to depend on something. Let's call it state, and it can run our lives. Well, you know, there is a quote out there about um, authoritarian governments, and and I got that quote from, I think it was listening to um, the Dr. Daniels video, actually, Mm. because the guy that was interviewing her had said something about uh, the most powerful tool of an oppressor is the one's that they are oppressing because you know it's that group mentality they will they will demand that you fit into that square peg even though even Mm -hmm. though it's just not going to happen you know there's no way or that round that round hole and you're a square peg (laughs) and they're going to shove you in there if it don't fit force it well they've manipulated some kind of standards that we have in our minds, I think. And they've got people convinced that one thing applies to everybody and it doesn't. Or like in the video, they represent something as this when it really isn't what they're telling you it is. But by taking the steps that they tell you, well, then it becomes what they're warning you against. But they're going within the guidelines of what's Um, legal for them to do it's not ethical it's not moral but it's legal so back to all the law and all the all this shit is all garbage and tell 10 people that nine of them are going to walk away from you and they all got the same complaint the air's fucked up the water's fucked up got this goddamn car smoking blah 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 but what else can i do Mm, do your own thing and try and stay away from them 
Oh, please. How do you, there's not even ways to support yourself anymore. The government has tightened down on everything. And now they've got illegal aliens to fuck up what a free man used to be able to run around doing is now going to draw suspicion because, hey, there's some guy alone out in the night doing something. You know, do you understand how I'm saying this or not? Yeah. Yeah. And you can't even walk to a fucking uh, uh, 24-hour coffee house four blocks away from your house because somebody will report you because you look suspicious walking at night. Yeah. And the cops shoot you when they do get these calls now. Rob Works posted one the other day about uh, the cops were chasing a guy uh, in a beat-up truck, pulling a trailer, slow uh, slow speed chase. And the guy on the dispatch, the superior, told the guy doing the driving to quit wrecking the car and just shoot him. Wow. And they had the body cam. They leaked it to the... You know, to some source that put it up on YouTube and made a video out of it. It was just horrendous. To, and it was over a driver's license. Not, he wasn't, he didn't rob or kill anyone. And he wasn't hurting it. He just didn't have a driver's license and didn't, got scared and didn't want to pull over. So they killed him. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. People mm-hmm. are going to justify that. Yes. They are. Okay, and this is all the divide and conquer, how it works. They get us split up into two sides, and then we fight. And they still get away with everything they do, and nobody cares because, oh, we're going to get Hillary. I've been we're going to get Hillary since 1974. They're not going to do fuck all to Hillary. Good Lord, I wish people would grow the fuck up. Donald Trump is not doing anything for you. He's well, doing everything for Donald Trump. They're not going to do anything for Hil- or to Hillary anyway because she's already gone. Doesn't matter. I know, but I'm old. just saying. <laughs> she's already what are gone. Do to her? How do you punish a 70-year-old woman? You need to take away her biscuits and tea at night. <laughs> no, make her <laughs> stay in a room with Bill. Left. But I mean take a look at her. She doesn't have anything left. No there's nothing appealing about her at this point in her life. She's a pariah, so she's useless. So make her stay in a room with Bill. No, it doesn't matter. She has her foundation of support because based on all those Republican lies to disgrace you. See, it's a game, Mary. They, you, know, you know as well as me, it's a lot of people out in the real world, not on the electronic world, that really don't get it. You know, like some of us on the electronic world are light years ahead of the guy that votes and doesn't use the internet and just works five days a week or six or whatever. Those people that don't have time for anything but the things that occupy their time. I have freedom to do what I want with all my time. Yeah. Well, but you know, I still, I get to see people that, that it's like, wow, there are more out there that get it than what I thought. I hope, because things are looking... They killed this guy for driving without a license. Yeah, I know. What crime did he commit? Oh, well, he was running. Well, right, it was like 40 miles an hour, 50 miles... Okay, he was running. But you don't kill him for running. You don't know why they're running. You don't even know if you got the right person in the car. This is just somebody in a car running. So at that point, what gives anybody the right to say, take them at any cost, kill them? Went, wow, that, that's insane. Yes. And then you, the very next day, tell me how, well, things, people are waking up, and I don't see any of it. Well, you don't see, maybe because you're not looking. Okay, where would I start to find the good going on in society outside of my own right now, tomorrow? Okay, and who's the one that tells me that 100 miles away, I don't know for sure if this is exactly. play acting or not. And so, mm-hmm. therefore, the way I do it, and I know it's not the way you do it, but the way I do it is I just look around where I am at and the people that I interact with and rarely... Do I have to deal with someone that is a total whack job? Rarely. 
And but we live in small communities. Yes, if I was we do. COVID, but you know and what? I could if find wackos to play with on purpose, they're there. Yes, I saw them. Yes, I just they engage them. Yes, they are there. But that doesn't that doesn't mean that they're everywhere. They're everywhere, and it also does not negate the fact that there are people out there that are you know you you engage with someone and you you talk about the kids over there in Denmark I, I, that I that will sit there about no Mary I was being specific about the cops murdered a guy yes because his crime was at the murder time he didn't have a driver's license I'm not talking about things hundred miles I'm was talking about a link that Rob posted uh-huh. that uh-huh. made me feel absolutely horrible about where I'm from. Well, and it's and not, I get it's that. It's not like a judgment call. It was the response to a news item. Oh, I get that. I understand yeah, it. Yeah. It okay. and that is that. no that that is an absolutely it. horrid thing that happens. And and okay. I have no idea what to. I mean, number one, the guy is already dead. This may sound heartless, but the guy is already dead. So what do we do now? <laughs> Do we sit here and be keyboard commandos and bitch about it all the time and get everybody pissed off? Or do we try and do something to change the freaking system that is getting away with this shit? Stop putting up with this kind of nonsense. Start demanding. If you live in a big city, start demanding that those people be held responsible for their behavior. And you behave in a manner that you show that you are responsible for your own behavior. Out here, granted, it's a smaller community. Smaller works better for that. But that kind of shit don't work out here. Mm. So well, I understand your side and I understand some things. What I don't understand is not is that we've been pushed to a point to discuss it needs to be stopped. That's the problem I got. Not yeah. that it ever fucking happened. And I'm not a big fan of murder. You know, I keep my murder bullshit to TV shows that are, you know, entertainment storyline crap. Not, I don't want to see somebody gored stabbed every night of the week and on that kind of horse shit. Yeah. But I've been no, dumbed down and, and numbed enough to watch it on TV as entertainment. But when I, when it comes to society, and the way that the police are taking people out for not having a driver's license, that that just pushed me over the edge because oh. I didn't drive with a license for Rob 1987. Said he, Rob said he wasn't killed for no license. He was killed for defying authorita, which, yes, and either either case. Well, that's the either point, case, Rob, is that it doesn't matter that he didn't do anything that warranted to be shot dead. He wasn't a threat to anybody except driving and that that's debatable but they could have rammed him off the road but they called it off and said take him out any means possible necessary and went holy fuck they, they're gonna kill him and what man walked up to the car shooting not nothing no identifying all that crap you see on tvs is a bunch of bullshit you think you got fucking rights get arrested and when you get out of your fucking mess you come onto the dork table and tell me how your rights worked out for you I understand, Moosey, that people demand accountability all the time and cops are rarely prosecuted. Yeah, right. I know I know how that fucking blue line shit. shit works. But you've got to, you know, bitching about it ain't going to stop it. Bitching I mean, about I, it ain't going to make it go away. I thought I was just responding to a, uh, a link that I saw that was disturbing. Well... You know? I didn't know I was bitching. If you call that bitching, no, okay. no, I'm just. I feel horrible. Well, there's, there's some a, there's a got murdered for doing what I did for twenty fucking years. Well, yeah. And the cops never shot at me when they caught me. They just went, eh, bad, bad, bad. Here, go to court and deal with this. It is a mindset and thing, and you have to change the mindset. And mindsets do not change easily. And you cannot force someone else to change their mindset. All you can do is lead by example. And I know that sounds very unicorn, farty, glitter, puff nonsense. (laughs) But that's the only fix is Mm -hmm. to change your mindset and lead by example. And 
don't allow it you know when you see others being an arrogant ass call them out on it when you you know don't put up with that shit if you see a child and i'm horrible about this i'm sure there's <laughs> there's quite a few parents out there that think bitty i don't give shit if i'm somewhere shopping and a child is like opening a package or or doing something that they know they're not supposed to do but they're doing it anyway and the parent is just kind of la 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 i'll look at the kid and say excuse me is that yours are you supposed to be doing that and a lot of times that will get mom or dad's attention and they'll turn around and if they don't do anything about it i'll say I'm sorry, but I don't want to have to pay more for my groceries because you can't control your kid and keep them from getting into shit or stealing shit. I do that. But that is okay. that is how I handle this stuff. No, I do mm. not live in a big city because I don't want to live in a big city. <laughs> I think big cities is they want everybody in that area so that when they do clamp things down, you yeah. have this yeah. mass of people that all this negative emotion is building up and how in the fuck do you think they control us by building up the negative emotion and it feeds on itself and so then all of these people they start taking each other out shit government doesn't have to do anything except for slam the door on supplies that's all they got to do just one little thing everybody else will take care of the dirty work for them and then they can step back and go see this is why we had to step in and take away more of your rights because but you Ms. people Mary, can't be trusted. We all know the government would never do that. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Never. Which is why people need to learn to be self-sufficient and they need to be fucking self-responsible. You can't do it on the fourth floor. I've lived on the fourth floor. I'm telling you, there's no way. Which is why cities are bad juju, especially with technology well, these days. Why do you have to live in a big city? Telecommute. We've got mm-hmm. people that live out here that telecommute. They go to the city once a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd think with the Internet they could do away with a lot of the traveling um, to work and from work bullshit in the first place. You know, Cirque stays home sometimes, just does her shit on the computer. You know, instead of going to the office, there's nobody to physically sit with that you require handing papers back and forth to. Yeah. And privacy. No, they do it over the Internet on a secure line. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So everything's all hush hush in the electric world. But, you know, it saves her a day of traveling for, you know, not having to meet people. Yeah. So the only time she goes to Copenhagen is actually when there's people to to interact with. And. But how many jobs are going to be that lax with their with their workers? You know, it's America is so slave minded. It's I, the difference between working there and working somewhere else is incredible. Yes. You know, and they talk yes. about, well, illegal aliens. Oh, fuck all that. I mean, I worked at regular places with other kids from schools I went to. And we worked just as fucking hard as anybody else because we were that's the generation we came up in. Yeah. Things weren't easy when we were growing up, so we were used to it. You know, but in the eighties then the technology started to soften and change. You know, and by the nineties and the two thousands, well shit, you got machines that can make an omelet. Push a couple buttons and five seconds, you know, boom, 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 and then two minutes you got an omelet. Because yeah. we have the technology and there's been enough money stolen over the years that there's some things that really do happen. Oh, yeah. You know, like NASA was a bunch of crap. They didn't go to the fucking moon. They didn't go to Mars and all this horse shit. But there are things that I believe really took place. I just don't know what they are. Well, see, and that's how they do that. They, they, they always have to keep just a little bit of truth going on in there just to keep because people will know. They will know when it's just a flat-out, bald-faced lie. They'll know that. But So they, they have to keep just enough truth, and I think that's why they keep leaking inventions out, which, you know, those inventions that they leak out, that's stuff that well, they've been using for probably 20, 30 freaking years, and they finally well, let well, the general public have it. Mary, if you think it's so simple, 
then why is it like one out of a million people understands what fractional reserve banking is? Or for all the people that it's exposed to, hardly any of them want to see it. They don't want to know. No, they don't want to know because that interested. will totally flip their reality. And they just plain, they're not ready to deal with that yet. Well, what What is ready to deal with a fact? I don't understand that. That sounds childish. That sounds like it that is. five-year-old. Wait, it sounds like the five-year-old that will not eat something. So what do you do? You got two choices. You either you don't feed them anything but the thing they won't eat until they fucking eat it, or you just don't give it to them. There's no middle ground with a five-year-old. They're not prepared to, do, you know, they just know they want something, and that's the end of it. And maybe and, this maybe this is the end goal of all of that crap in the vaccines is to get people to where cognitively they are not prepared to deal with some of this stuff. Wow. That okay, if hmm, I don't know. It sounds like a excuse to me, but you know, I don't know. Everything in life sounds like a, an excuse to me. Well, everything is an excuse and excuses are like assholes. Everybody's got one and they all stink. And they're, they're all subjective, little missy. Did you know that? Because each of us will take it in our own specific way. Yeah. Even though it looks like the same thing to the next guy, it's really not. We're just taught to identify stuff, and then we think we know shit that, no, you don't know anything. You think you know stuff, and that's enough. It's when you tell people what you're, how fucking brilliant you are, that's where you blow it all apart. I'm the smartest guy that ever lived. No, you might have been until you said that, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So See, what I learned is that, fuck, the, the more shit I think I know, the less right I am. Yeah. Because I'm not open to listen to the other guy if I've already shut him up before he starts talking unless I have prior experience. And yet sometimes, I saw a post earlier today um, the truth mm. is found in some of the darkest places. And yeah, <laughs> it is. You know, it's just like occasionally I do go to MSN or MSNBC and, and you know, or CNN or phone news just because occasionally there is a truth there or a piece of a puzzle that fits into place for me. If for no one else, it fits into place for me. And it probably is not the way it was intended to fall into place. <laughs> right. Well, that's because you're the exception to the norm. There is a norm and there is a standard, period. And yes. people want to argue all that fucking crap all day and all night. But there are certain things that you do that if you don't do, you get in trouble for not doing them. Doing them puts you in the group that's normal. Because it's acceptable. Because you can survive life as long as you do these things. And somehow or another, I'm one of those folks that went, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. And I didn't. And, and you dealt still. And you dealt with whatever came of that, too. Yes. Uh, no matter what. Well, a few times I got slapped down pretty bad from the circumstances of the decision. But I took my ass whipping and went on with life. No. Remember anthrax you used to cry oh, all God. the fucking time about being uh, abused by a priest or some shit like that. Anyway, so, you know, here he is, a 30 odd year old man still complaining about what happened to him as a child. And I mocked him for it. And then he got mad about that. And I told him, well, you know, if you don't want people mocking you for being a baby, stop it. Don't put your business on the fucking Internet, you dumb ass. Yeah. I you mean, know, that, if you don't want to catch static for something or if you don't want to get any kind of repercussions or, or, or responses. The way he did the, along the way to make himself the, so hateful and be, he re, he he um, he got what he put out. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. He you was, definitely do get what you put out. Wow. He was really vile and mean. And sometimes it was entertaining to me. <laughs> uh I, well, oh, man, I'd sit here and just me and Cirque would just giggle. It's like, wow, like 15 year olds at a, you know, at a party. Hey, I bring you into whatever I want. I got 50 percent. 
<laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling the marriage card, baby. <laughs> I'm getting resistance from the Danish consulate. What will we do? <laughs> but anyway, but when you, you know, there's certain responses you're going to get from people. All right. I've got the same tension from a guy on mines because I put a meet your uh, meet your uh, your straw man. Hmm. And this guy was all over me. Oh, don't give me your hippie shit. You love that, blah, blah, blah. Like talking to Hansel, you know? Wow. And I thought, this guy doesn't even, you know, didn't even have enough time to open. It was like within a minute of the time I post it, boom, there's the response. And the response is without enough time to see the link. So what? what is he complaining about? That you posted? Apparently you were breathing weird when you posted it. No, it's what you were saying earlier about their program, you know, they're programmed to react to things in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Just like I, only my programming is a lot looser than some, like your voter. Your programming is different. And the yeah, way, the way you that. responded to your programming is different. And that, you know, actually everybody, the way they respond to the programming is different. You know, we all respond differently. So. Oh, I have to. I have to give Grimner a dork dork announcement. The origins of mocking on the internet began. I don't know. I thought they started at RLM when Hans joined, but I could be wrong. <laughs> no, no, they they were they were alive and well on WT. Oh, hell yeah. But see, that was before we come over and, and met Grimner and, and joined on his thing. Yeah. And and yeah. before WT, they were alive and well on Fakie Book. And before Fakie Book, they were alive and well on MySpace. Although mm -hmm. I'd, I, I, ha I think I even had a MySpace page. but And my daughter told me, oh, Mom, you can put all this music on there and everything. And I put all this music on there. And then they said, you can't do that. And it's like, well, I'm not coming here anymore. So, uh, <laughs> you know, once you tell me I can't do something after yeah. I was told that I can, and then you tell uh, me, oh, well, you can't do that. Well, then it's like, okay, fine. Uh, I'm not playing your game yeah. anymore. So I don't blame you. Yeah. See, that's what I do with everything. Well, I, yeah, very extreme. Oh, my poor brother, man. We didn't talk for years and years and years. Because I'm extreme. And I went, no, I'm going to do it. And then the few times I gave him to do it, I was already nasty and negative. So he didn't want to do it. <laughs> and then uh, we grew up somewhere in the end and things changed. See, and I got told long, long ago that I'm a spiteful little shit. Because whenever someone tells me, you can't do that. It's like, oh, really? Hide and watch. And so I really, and and I really didn't stop and, and realize that I was doing that until I recognized it in my grandchildren. Oh, okay. I'm and then it was like, hint, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> they come yeah, by it find, honestly. You find out through your children that, <laughs> but you find out through your kids that other people are mirrors yes. as well. They're it's not just your kids. I think having a kid made me realize that that's what other people were. I was watching me and them. You know, maybe not. And then, and then they they take it too far. The things about myself that I don't want to become, I see them in other people. Yeah. With the directions in life I don't want to go, I identify that by I don't like your behavior. You are the idiot I do not want to ever be. You are the obnoxious bat that needs to be in a belfry with a fucking cat. Leave me alone. Those kind of things. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's a personal thing. Everybody can decide whatever they like. You know, and then we all complain about freedom. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm so fucking confused. I blame it on the banking and the government and the fucking medical system. They got us all bullshitted for our whole lives. The truth is available, but it's it's probably too late for some people to participate in the recovery. Mm. They're too deep in the game to ever stop playing it. They got to play to live. Uh, yeah, and, well, and, and I, I understand that, but you know, I can't I cannot lay full blame. 
on someone mm-hmm. else. I mean, yeah, I understand I was born into this mess, so therefore I mm-hmm. kind of get a pass on some of it. Mm-hmm. But going along with it. All of it. You got to stop one day and start asking questions. Why? Not so much why, but what is this? Yeah. And when I, in my, res, my answer from the information I found was this is a big scam. Everything that we know is the opposite of the truth, and we are being fucked over. Yeah. And the oh. people that are doing the hardest fucking are the idiots that get voted into power to do it. Oh, oh man, watching those. Did you watch either one of those videos I shared yesterday on the um, chemtrails? No, I no. We have so little chemtrail behavior over here, but I I've got a friend in the states that suffered it from hands on, so I'm very convinced they're true and they're real. Well, uh, in the second one, in the uh, why are they spraying the skies or whatever? Yeah. This young man and a couple other people go to D.C. and actually confront politicians and try and hand them letters and all and wow, talk about not representing anything. I mean, those people were beyond rude. And mm-hmm. these are people that, you know, they, I speak mm-hmm. for you. I know you chose mm-hmm. me because I'm so, no, no, you are so douche. You are so douche. That's why I go all insane over uh, Hansel and Chloe with their damn voting. I mean, what the hell do you think your voting does anything for you? I don't think so. What the hell do you get out of it when all you do is complain about the way things are? Oh, this fucking Trump this, and oh, this fucking Trump that, and the other one, oh, that fucking Hillary, oh, we're so lucky she didn't get in power. What is the big fucking difference? What changed because one idiot didn't occupy a seat? The game still went on. When are you guys going to realize that? Yes, and you the, make it go. The, the game illusion still, of the vote. Well, the game still went on. I don't think the vote had anything to do with it. I really do think Trumples got in there because they knew Shitlery was not going to... Mary, less than a third of the available population bothers to vote in the first place Mm -hmm. and then what a third of that is to the guy that wins so we got 12 percent of the population running everything yeah but even even they aren't stop it no it's working exactly as it's planned to work oh oh that shh you're not supposed to tell them oh damn it oops delete that last bit well come on think about it if they really wanted to know they'd know like you tell me, oh, well, they're not ready. Well, still, but they're the people that are responsible in the face of this thing. They're the face of it, the supporters of what's going on. They and are the go- weapons of the very thing that they say that they are against. They are yeah. the weapons we, just because. And when you try to argue with them, yeah. they don't listen to the truth. They they think that, like my aunt, the uh, the Hillary supporter. No, those are just stories to make me not believe my leader. Though that's made up. What? Yeah. Yeah. Nine eleven was a fucking inside job. They planned that for a long time. Oh hell those yeah. Those buildings were made. They they were asbestos pits. They needed to come down. There was no way to afford taking them down. So they came up with this story. Well, they couldn't afford cleaning up all the asbestos. Yeah. 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 It would have been no way. And anyway. So it wasn't a secret in New York. I lived in New York in the 80s. Yeah. Well, after the towers, I went to the towers. I saw how massive and huge that place was. No one airplane couldn't have taken down a building. Well, no they, they were designed to be able to handle that. That's the thing. And then when you see all these other buildings that, you know, catch fire, these massive skyscrapers that catch yeah. fire, and they the never Empire collapsed. State got hit by a uh, airplane in the 40s, 45, 46, and all that happened, it started a fire and they put it out. Yeah. Well, big deal. Obviously, they've but, lost the technology to take care of that now. Well, no, they, they lowered the melting point of steel so that jet <laughs> fuel could melt it. Because, you know, legally, the legal parameters, Mary, you just don't understand this. Let me just sit down. Are you got a beverage? Let me, you got a few hours? Let me explain this to you. They rewrite shit to fit the lie, and then they sell it to the public as a fact. 
we are being fucked at every level of government. We are being fucked at every level of life. Everything that we buy is second rate. Oh, but I bought it at this store. And oh, I bought no. You bought the same crap because the tax money goes to the same fucking government. Ooh, you Vinny wants fu- to know what would happen if no one voted. I would love to see I'll that happen. I don't happen. think that will ever happen because there will you want always me to print be. For you, what will happen? The Electoral College will vote in your absence. Yes, it will, because that's the way it was designed. See, that's what I said. The system was designed to self-perpetuate. Therefore, you know the vote from that stand alone. You know your vote doesn't mean a fucking thing. It is just a game to play so that these guys can sit there and make these medical laws forcing you to spend your life working and slaving to pay them to die. (laughs) Yeah. And they're killing you with your own fucking consent because you won't fight them. And I know people won't fight them because I lived there for 50 years and nobody would ever side with me. I was alone all the fucking time. Oh, you can't fight the government. Oh, you need a driver's license. Oh, you're not insured. Oh, you're not this. Oh, you're not that. Well, here I am. You well, you explain. know what? <clears throat> if you don't go to the doctor, you don't need insurance. Well, Basically, see, insurance in initially, or at least the story I was told, mm-hmm. insurance initially was supposed to be for catastrophic events. And mm-hmm. there are places now that have, you know, you don't necessarily, well, I think that Dr. Uh, Daniels was actually talking about it. You don't, they don't do insurance. And they, I do remember reading about Um, a doctor in New York that did this as well and uh, the New York Medical Board shut him down but what he did was he would not accept insurance number one it cut his work staff down from like 10 people down to three people you know just the office staff because he would no longer accept insurance medical cards any of that shit then he said what you do is every one of his patients paid $27 a month and this this was quite a few years ago but every one of his patients paid $27 a month if you didn't come in that's fine but you still paid that $27 a month kind of like a little membership fee or in a club or whatever and then when you actually wound up having to go and see him there was no cost to the visit because you've been paying the $27 a month well other doctors who had been accepting insurance bitched to the New York Medical Board and got him shut down because that was an unfair practice to the other doctors because they were losing patients to him that's how fucked up this system truly is Mm -hmm. that's what I've been bitching about that's why I'm just not impressed with living there anymore Good God, they've got states suing prisons for not being filled. Well, maybe you need well, to... What? And Colorado was suing. closing. Colorado's closing prisons. The one by Burlington, well, Oregon, they closed. Oregon last year was suing because their prisons weren't to capacity. Oh, Oregon's fucked. <laughs> okay, maybe so, but that way... <laughs> I know, and, I know and, what you're saying. And, and this... And this population we live amongst have the nerve to call this the united anything of anything. It's beyond me. Yeah. Fifth oh, hi, anti Han. Howdy doody. Fucking states. Everybody going in a different goddamn direction. Oh, there's the 56. Damn it. Didn't you listen to Obama? Seven. You know, Obama. But <laughs> how could anybody expect to get unity out of that many people? It's a fucking illusion. It's a joke. It's a yeah. game. Yes, you it is. You fucking hat. Oh, and by Look the way, up. by the way, what? I'm going to... Hi, dork cakes. I didn't say hi to you Man, earlier because cause Flash was on a on a rant, and then I got on a rant, and, yeah. and, but, and then I interrupted ranting. your rant. <laughs> Man, fooling, fooling ranters here on the dork table. Yeah, but the last week I told a good joke about Canada. Too bad I didn't have another good joke for, you know, for this particular table, but I wasn't really in a joking mood because came on here pissed off as fuck about this medical thing I have discovered. And not that I've discovered it to be true, but that I've discovered that there's proof that these people are fucking with us. Just like I've said all along, you can't trust anybody. They're just, they, the left hand does not know what the right hand is doing. Yeah. And what, and what the fucking system does is they add 
things together that wouldn't normally be added together before. And they tell people that's normal. And the next thing you know, they've got a medical practice. Yes. Oh, oh. And see, you're pissed about that. And I'm pissed about the fucking chemtrail shit because they were they were talking about all of the aluminum that's in the soil and how it's ruining uh, crops that's and all this other fun stuff. And guess yeah. who's going to step in and save the day? Guess who's got a shitload of patents on seeds that Monsanto. are aluminum tolerant? Monsanto. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, we it, see, there's too much support for this. That's what I mean. We're the fringy, fringe, 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 fringe. We're never going to have an audience, but the, at least the people that do uh, join this side of the argument, they're going to probably be around. Whatever happens, it won't affect us, us mentally like it affects. it's going to affect the population. They're yeah. not going to be ready for it. No way, no how. Well, Think about how many people are on the Internet in the first place, right? Uh-huh. And then subtract from that the amount of people that use the Internet for fucking off playing games like I do. I spend a lot of time just playing video games and then the rest of the time researching some link I found or watching movies. or So the time that I spend interacting with people about the truth is very small. And then the audience that you got for this side of the coin is just nothing, fraction. Because mainstream is, oh, those fucking hippies, oh, the potheads, and oh, the Democrats, or oh, the Republicans, they're all against somebody. Oh, the fucking Nazis, oh, the fucking Jews. And you know what? The mainstream is becoming quite the echo chamber, and, and they're losing the ones that are listening. And I, I base that on several conversations I've had with people, because we've had quite a few people break down in the last couple of weeks coming in and, you know, just kind of BSing with them. And one of the first things I do, oh, thank you, Rob Works, for passing around that bubbler. Um, <laughs> in any case, um, you know, I will ask these people, do you want me to turn the TV on? And they go, oh, no, I don't watch that crap. I don't watch the news. I don't, it's all just a bunch of crap. And so I, I, I can't tell you how many people I've talked to in the last couple of weeks that, no, thanks, I don't want to watch that garbage. There is nothing on there that's worth a shit. Okay. And and to me, that is just the scratch in the glass because there's so much more behind it. Because those same people that will do what you just described will still take their kids to the doctor and they will still drive, get a driver's license to drive and they will still pay car insurance. And, they, you know, all the, the traps that we're all in to survive, they have to com- they have to comply. If but they that, don't, there a, is nothing. A lot of that is because they don't know there's a web. They're just no, 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 starting no, no, to Mary, see the that. one thread. No. I don't mean it that deeply. What I mean is all these things, if you don't comply, you're breaking the law. Yeah. These things are mandated by fucking law that shouldn't be mandated. Oh, I know. Since I've, when I've does worked the government with. have the fucking right to tell me I have to, have, for one, <laughs> get a driver's that's, license. That's part of being a government. Two, get insurance to drive a fucking car. Are you out of your fucking mind? What, what, what are we in? The, the 29th century? No. We're in. Huh? Come on, people. Yeah, but still, <laughs> I'm the fringe of the fringe of the fringe that will not comply to any of this bullshit. And, and so somehow just... or another, the people in my life that I live amongst, the, the ones that I spend my physical time with, tolerate it, and then they support me through it. Well, they see the example that you're setting. Yeah, but it's lonely. I'll tell you, there's only like my brother and my wife. Yeah. Oh, you'd be My surprised. My mom was kind of for me at the end, but you know now she's gone, so there's there's that one. But the rest of my family thinks I'm a raven lunatic. <laughs> yeah, well. You know, and uh, yeah, I know I get a little hot on that last rant, but fuck, man, people, I actually did these things and I survived. And I just think that if more people would say no and stop it, then they would stop it. But. You See, and that's exactly fire. what I was saying. If more people would just say no, okay, I'm not playing anymore. Sorry, you you told me but I can't do that, and so fine. Okay, I won't. I won't play. But the laws have all been written to protect them from you doing that. That's I'm, the whole point I was leading up to. Is I know. When I started this race, there wasn't all these laws that said I couldn't do this shit. See? I'm, in in the 90s, when I got pulled over by the police for driving and I didn't have a license, ah, the cop wrote me a ticket. He didn't have time to be bothered with that. 
Yeah. He had cop things to do. He thought I looked like somebody, and he made a mistake, and he apologized for it. But he goes, oh, you don't got a driver's license. I got to write you a ticket. There you go. End of that. Next. <laughs> you know, right. I understand. But now, I understand. Right. But now, now, now they shoot you. I license. Yeah. Well, I wasn't even going to mention that again, but you started giggling. Well, it's just, it's <laughs> I kind just. I thought you were I expecting me to go there. <laughs> well, uh, it's such a fucked up situation. It is a I, fucked up situation, and it is a mindset. It went from yeah. being peace officer to police officer to law enforcement officer. Yeah. It was a, yeah. it was a process. Twenty-five years, though. I mean, it's a whole nother world. I don't recognize it. Well. You know, even being even being living how I have and and dressing how I've dressed and the hair and all this other shit, the system, for the most part, kind of ignored me. You know, I was kind of lucky in that they never really paid a lot of attention to whatever I was doing. But I started out and it was one way. And now here we are at the end. And it's it's a 180. Yeah. Yeah. I was asking the guys in the RLM this morning, you know, is being disarmed the same as, same as being outgunned? And they said no. Rob Work said no. But then I started to think about it. They got tanks. Then they got helicopters. And they got drones. And here you are with your little 45. <laughs> little pea shooter. No. Right. Well, whatever it is, you know, they come rolling in with tanks and 100 guys. What are you going to do? I, I don't know. I saw that happen to Boston, so now it's etched, and I saw it in Waco, and now it's etched in my mind that the, the government that I came from has no problem with turning armed militia fucking weapons and guns on you and burning you to the ground and, and murdering everybody in a circle. And I go, wow. Yeah. And then, well, yeah, and then they will say, but it was for your own good because we had to do this because those people were bad. And and that's and then and the worst part about it is it's not bad enough that they did that. It is not bad enough that they came up with a lame ass freaking excuse for why they had to do this. Yeah. The worst part to me is when people go, oh, OK. Oh, oh, and they had it coming or some shit. No, well, you know, so, to me, the greatest evil in this world is not necessarily the evil that is perpetuated by bad men. It is the good man that stands there and goes, oh, okay, and does nothing. Well, Those yeah, are right, the ones that, that really piss me off to no end. Yes, it does, there, because you had a, a awful lot of... Hundred paid thugs on that. I saw the videos. And today. how no. many of those people could not at all ever it would have never entered their mind to say no i won't do that see that's oh, no, that's no, no, where no, i no, come no, down no, to no. i come down to the individual and i don't give a shit who gives you the vile ass order if right. you right. carried it out doesn't hmm. make a shit and bit of difference that it wasn't your idea if you yeah. carried it out because this mindset of authorita and I must do as I am told, even if it's the most vile thing in the world, sorry, sorry, to me, you are more disgusting and more vile than the person that gave, that gave the order. <clears throat> that's that's, that's my opinion. Well, I'm not going to argue whether your opinion is good or bad or right or wrong. I'm just saying that, wow, that's your opinion. Yep. But I've got something. I don't know. We're 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 the same. Only expression is different. But yeah, uh, I I was remembering seeing the cops on the second floor of that building, and then what seemed to be gunfire coming out and people falling backwards. So they shot them. But if your house was being invaded and you're in a panic, and you, what would you do? How could you be so in control that you're going to let a armed thug come through a window and no, you're going to fight him? Yes. That's, yeah. that's what human beings really do. Well, well, the people attacking him knew that. So that, the whole thing was wrong, all of it. Yeah. It was dealt with wrong. It was handled badly. But the plan was to murder everybody. 
because that's what they did. And yeah. they didn't just fall into this. This would had to be the plan from the beginning and how to hide what we're doing from the from the cameras so that they can't prove what we did. And then what I saw was people explaining, well, this is how it went, and this is what happens when you do this, and this is what happens when you do that. Uh -huh. So yeah. the only way the gunshots could have done what they were supposed to have done is if they were fired from this helicopter at this particular angle, blah, 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 right? All this technical, yeah. detail-y shit you have to trust. And because it's designed to confuse you and to overwhelm yes. you and keep you right. from being able to go, wait a minute here, that dot doesn't connect with that dot. And for some reason, me, I just get pissed off and hate the government. And for the next guy, he gets pissed off and he hates the fucking guy that pissed off the government. Yeah, and me, I'm just mad at the <laughs> asshole that the government said, you need to go do this. And that asshole went, uh, okay. We're doing a, a pull a trigger. Okay. That's I mean, the way what, I look at them. It's like, okay, okay. you got told by of, some evil, vile creature, go pull the trigger on that. Per well, and I read about one uh, in the Waco thing where a woman was holding her child and was shot through the head. And it's like, I give you the order to shoot. Okay. That you supposed to shoot Ruby this. Ridge. They shot her through the window. She was behind the door. That was another case. Uh, see, there's a goddamn many uh, of them out there that it's like, yeah, but really? Waco, they were un Waco were um, within the compound, and they were yes. well sheltered. Yes, they were. Ruby Ridge were in a cabin in a mountain. But yeah. the kid, their, their son shot one of the cops and FBI or whatever. So, the, yeah, it was a fucking free-for-all at the end. Oh, yeah. But they shot his wife through a window. Killed her. It's all, it's, it's all and, and to me, it's like... Who pulled the fucking trigger? That's well, the one. You're one of a kind because to me it's just arm everybody or just get rid of all that shit in the front. But see, they got them all split. They think, oh, if they take my guns, I won't have any protection. Well, let me tell you something. If they come to get you, you don't need protection. You need a body bag. Well, They're not walking away without you one way or another. Look at the fucking results. Look around and see what's going on in the, you know, in the real, real world. It's horrible. Well, you can't put the seven deadly sins back in Pandora's box. You just plain but I can't. I hearing the same argument about, well, if I don't have guns, well, let me tell you, if the cops come looking for you and they're armed and you're not going to know they're there, they're going to shoot you before you can even find your weapon. And then if you do get it, they're going to shoot you for having it because they're coming into you. Yeah, because you were bad. It doesn't matter if they got the right house or the wrong house or no, the right doesn't. warrant. All that crap doesn't mean shit in admiralty court. But John, you know, um, John Average doesn't know there's an admiralty court. Yeah. Good Lord. I mean, 90% of the people on, on any... So, social site have no idea that admiralty court runs the courts that big pharma and uh, government is all run by somebody beyond all that and everything that we do is bad for us you say that in a room full of people and nine of them are leaving mm -hmm. huh? we yeah. say it every week and we get people that come back yeah so yeah. There but you, you know, go, each cause... each one of those at each room, if you have one mm. person that stays out of each one of those rooms, and then that one person goes outside, mm. and they talk to some, they talk to a hundred people, and only one person out of those hundred actually mm. listens to them and actually <laughs> gets involved yeah. in an interaction uh, and starts sharing ideas, and then each one of those mm. people go out. That's how it goes, but it's very slow process. And sorry, but we are way, 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 way behind on this <laughs> because they've been doing this for hundreds and thousands of years. And who they is, is there's always this little knot of control freaks that seem to think <laughs> that they can control everything because they know what's best and it's beneficial for them. So to get support to do it. You want to explain that? Yeah, well... You know, that whole support to do it, it's like they come across as these big, rough guys. And you, you have these people that don't want to have responsibility. They don't want to have to take care of themselves. They want to be able to go, wow, it's it's so nice to have 
that person over there, yeah, they're a big bully and a meanie, but they make sure that those other big bullies and meanies that, that we don't know about don't get us. You know, so you you got your your slackers that are afraid to actually stand up for themselves or too damn lazy or whatever. I don't know. And then you've got your bullies and then you've got the bullies henchmen. You know, so that's that's quite a pile of people that you got to deal with. And then you got this this bunch of hooligans over here, the Robin Hood's merry men that are just kind of like, dun, 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 fuck you. <laughs> Like me? Is that, yeah. Are you making fun of me because I, I, I mock the system? No, I'm just saying that there are people that just flat ass have no use for the system. Yeah, they play along from time to time because mm -hmm. it's expedient to play along. Oh, yeah, you describe um, my brother and my wife in a way. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it's just what they 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 blend in with the, the society more comfortably than I do. Both you're, of them. You're not a blender. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm an agitator. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it. I don't know. I've just got a demeanor that's just not user friendly. Because <laughs> you know? if you want to use somebody, I recommend you look some fucking where else because I'm not in a mood. <laughs> <laughs> and you never know if I'm serious or not, because I can say that with a straight face, right, to you. Yes, you can. Yeah, yes. So, uh, I'm good with the voices. Yes, you are. You, you know what I'm looking forward to? What's that? You ain't going to believe this. What? Are you sitting down? Uh, yeah. Have you, have you got a hot beverage and a smoke? I have a uh, somewhat warm mm. beverage, and it's sitting off to the side. I'm not going to, I don't want to spew all over my computer screen. Okay, I want to know why the United States federal government will not issue an apology to the people of the world for lying about cannabis for 80 odd years. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny fucker. <laughs> I know, see, but that's all I want. I just want that federal government well, to admit in public to the people we are full of shit use. We are sorry we lied to you. Because you cannot justify this cannabis has been proven over. No, they knew this about cannabis when they banned it. Yeah, but see, if you, is, if you look back, the reason why the U.S. jumped on that bandwagon is because the U.N. wanted them to. Well, There's... that's all immaterial at this point. <laughs> you just want the U.S. government to apologize. I don't care. See, well, you know, that's like the dog, you know, licking your hand because it shit on the floor. It's a little late now. The dog already shit on the floor. So yeah. licking your hand is its way of telling you it's sorry. And the government won't lick the back of my hand and tell me I'm sorry. And I'm pissed. I want an apology. I want an open fucking apology from the people that lied, telling everybody, hey, we were full of shit. We lied to you. Mm. What is wrong with that? What if well, everybody well, there's that nothing... knew the truth? Wait a minute. What if everybody that knew the truth? Because I only talked to what twenty people. But what if we all got together at the same time and demanded the fucking truth and an apology? What would they be able to say? You saw what was what they did when they were giving them shit at uh, your representatives that you're talking about yeah. earlier. Mm -hmm. Think about how would they how would they dodge the the cannabis issue at this point? States are legalizing it left and right for finance. But is anybody thinking about the real truth? If it's a life-sustaining plant, we need it to be healthy. We need it to be healthy. We could build anything and make anything out of it. Mm -hmm. And it, we could grow it in abundance, blah, 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 blah. But it puts all these billionaire businesses to shit because they made all their money off synthetics that kill us. Yeah. Well, here we are in 2017, still burning fucking oil like a bunch of monkeys. And I, for one, am a little disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you yeah. feel better now? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I've said it okay. So many times. Ab about but... your apology thing, I'm going to tell you, like my mom always <laughs> tells me. <laughs> Do not force someone to apologize that is not sorry. You are condoning lying. And they're very good at lying. They do it. All you have to do is watch their lips move. And you know they're lying. So yeah. why demand that they tell you another lie just to make you feel better? No, it's not going to do the squat. It's not. But... Well, 
you know, I think I learned from you like the oils. Uh huh. That you know, and my own personal running with the fucking medical that trapped me for good god, what was it about nine years, something like that, eight years. Mm-hmm. You know, being ill and not having not having the wherewithal to figure out. Well, I wasn't ill before I started talking to you, motherfuckers. What is going on? So I got a little time away from it and figured it out and went, holy fuck. But still, everybody in my life was telling me, oh, you need your medicine. You're going to get sick and die. And and here I am. Yeah. Well, it's been six years now. And see, I've I've just recently, well, the last few years gotten into the oils and and I've always had kind of a thing for um natural stuff anyway but it's just been recently that i've i've really been getting into the oils and and checking a lot of the the natural things out again and you know when you stop and think about it and i do this quite often on my drive home from work um like the other day i was thinking about you know some because i'd seen some stuff about roundup and everything and it's like and then i thought wait a minute here Dandelions are good for you. You can make dandelion tea. You can make dandelion wine. <laughs> you can use the leaves for a salad. All of it, they have it has all kinds of nutrients in it that you your body needs. And they came up with Roundup and told you those yellow flowers are ugly. <laughs> you shouldn't have those yellow flowers in your yard. Here, <laughs> use this. And mm-hmm. so my mind went to. Holy crap, they've been working on this for a while, haven't they? I And I got to wondering, did they know the benefits of a, of, um, a lot of these quote-unquote weeds that they say are so unsightly and you really should get them out of your yard? Here, use Roundup. It's safe. And, and I got thinking, dang, if they knew that all of these things were healthy for you and it's not a problem to have them growing in your yard it's actually beneficial to have them growing in your yard and they came out with this that's like to me premeditated murder on a corporate scale and they're and they are working with big pharma because i'm sure big pharma probably helped them along by saying you know if you're going to come up with something there's all of these plants that just grow and we hey, can't you know, we can't patent you. them. You, so, you, last night you did your show. I missed the first opening bit. You were saying something about quitting something. And what what was it that you gave up? Was it Facebook? Uh oh no, I quit a page over on Minds. A page. Oh, that was the thing you were okay. Yeah. Something you were taught when you were talking about the thing reminded me about last night and I couldn't put two and two together and through the show I've been struggling with what where was it you walked out on or you were telling me or yeah. you were you were saying on the radio and I couldn't put it together. Now I know. Okay, continue. Yeah, it was that a was page over on mine. That was that was the one that you know, the censorship thing and it's like, Nope, nope, I'm done. There you go. Because... And and all it was, you know, it's it was a page that is you're supposed to, and uh, people were sharing really way cool, stepping outside of the matrix kind of videos, and papers and blogs and all this other fun stuff. And Beth Z had shared a video about NASA was busted with their fake climate change bullshit. <laughs> oh yeah. And yeah. so I posted that on that page Uh and number one you know i posted something earlier but i had just joined the page and it said must be approved by administrator and i thought okay i've just joined the page must be approved by page you join a group okay you're gonna have rules in a group Ah, oh but see no see the rules the way it was supposed to be is it's supposed to be you know helping people step outside of the matrix kind of rules and so i thought okay this is cool okay just like us you've got a fringe of people that want that um that I know everybody in the room, like the RLM. I know everybody here. I've been here the longest. You're my dog. Bullshit. Well, it's just a, it's just a power trip. You do it, what you want. It was, it was a there. power trip. But it kind of, you know, talk to you when, when I found out, you know, that mm-hmm. that, that that this one about NASA mm-hmm. was yeah. waiting for administrator approval, and then I shared <laughs> it again over on mine as well on my page. Yeah. Yeah. And then, short, I mean, they could not have watched the video. They could not no. have. That, see, that's what I mean. And oh. it got rejected. And it's like, wait a minute here. Yeah. 
title rejection. Isn't it fun? Aren't and, people just fun and when you they know, behave exactly how you think they will? Yeah, well, as soon as I got that lovely little notice that it was rejected, mm. it's like, oh, okay. So you want people to step out of the matrix, but you but, want them to do yeah. it the way you want them to do it. Not, mm. you know, you don't, that that's, no, we can't have that one. Mary, there is our shared re, uh, reality in a nutshell because so many different areas of dirt, okay, wherever your, your verbal or visual communication begins at starts on a bit of dirt somewhere, right? Uh-huh. Okay, well, these people think they own everything, so now they're trying to do is claim the dirt that the source is originated from to make rules to apply to that and this and this and this and this. It, you can't get away from that. That's just humanity. Yeah. And, you know, people can tell you, you can, well, if they've give you the options on the site to use, some idiot like me is going to use them. And I block people on mines. I've done it like three or four times. Yeah. The guy got on my back about um, <laughs> the straw man being hippie garbage. That's not worth knowing. So I, I blocked. Okay. That's what you think. I got no time. Mister, I have got so many years left. I don't want to spend them discussing shit with you because you don't listen. There you go. Yeah. Go on the next one. Okay. You know, it's like like a phone call. Mm -hmm. You know, like a sales call mm -hmm. when you were, uh, when I was a salesman. Uh, Hell yeah, I broke into phone sales when people went, "You're selling what on the phone? How do you do that?" Only you, Flash. Only you. I shared that I video made, over in yeah, the RLM chat too. So. What what. That the video what? about the fakest year on record at NASA and NOAA, and it's <laughs> it's like. Thank this is <laughs> this is the thing that got rejected because it just didn't fit in the break out of the matrix mold apparently. So I'm well, go, I'm going to beat that people, horse until it's until it kicks me in the head. <laughs> I, think, I think you should. That's what I do. And after it's dead, I roll it over and I hand it over to Hansel. Well, no, I'll give it to Vinny because he's one of them there Arkansas people and he he knows multiple ways of how to prepare dead horse. I'm sure. Yeah, but Vin, <laughs> Vin, Vinny's a country boy, and he knows when to stop, and Hansel doesn't. So we'll, we'll let it go at that. I got my opinions. Eh, eh, eh. The Federal Reserve is the opioid crisis of the stock market. So says Mr. Rob Works. Uh -huh. I don't know. I just read it, and it just felt like, hey, let's be dramatic about this goofy fucking thing. Um, but that's true. The it Federal is. Reserve. I'm telling you, married people don't want to know about the Federal Reserve. They think you're making shit up because the information that's available to show them it's a fraud looks more ridiculous than what they already believe. You oh. can't do that with money. Well, no, you can't because what they do does not involve any money. It's called money, but it's not money. But they legally yeah. make things possible legally so that these pricks can do this and you can't stop them. And there's no recourse. You can't sue them. If you could sue them, it would cost you so much to sue them that by the time you collected, they'd be burying you. Yeah. This game is rigged. It's rigged from the beginning to the end, and there's no way out of it. But what there is is a little information to tell you how, the truthful, how they truthfully play it. Yeah. Because they tell you one thing, and it's exactly the fucking opposite of what you're being told. And they kill us, and they maim us, and they torture us. And it's just insane. That doctor was describing the shit done to children as ritual fucking torture because it's not oh, yeah. necessary. Yeah. They just tell you it's necessary so you'll comply with it. And what it truly is is not good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how do you oh. get away with a fucking medical system in a government like we've got? All of us. Here, too. Yeah, well, the I'm one that... I'm partial to Denmark for all you fucking statists out there. I don't give a fuck. It's all the same. Oh, Vinny said you're supposed to beat the horse after you lead it to water. Thank you, Vinny. I'm, I'm, thank you, because I didn't realize there was a proper process to that, but I, I appreciate I that, hon. Vinny huh? would know. Yes, he would as know, because well Vin, Vinny knows these things. He does. Miss Mary and me are disciples of the Vinnie Church. Yes. Hallelujah. Did, 
You know that that video that you keep talking about. Wow, I got to tell you, the one that got me was, I mean, she yeah, she was talking about when she had to check to see if the testicles had fallen and stuff. And she said, my God, that's by two years old, you know. And she was having to do this in their sports physical shit. So she felt like, and she told them, no, I can't do this anymore. Because she felt like she was raping the boys, which, yeah. And then she said, and all of you women that go for your annual raping for your pap smear. And it's like, oh, oh that was me. <laughs> well, see, I don't do it anymore. Saying. But, right, right. but, but, but it, you know, it was a completely different way of looking at, at it. Us. Mm-hmm. We're, they're pitched at us as good things. They're conditioned. We're, we're taught and prodded and told. And when you go against it like me, you end up where I'm at. It's not a popular position to be in, let me tell you. No, it's not. No, but it's not. the end game is way better than what I see. It's like you said earlier, oh, well, just because I, I got upset about that guy getting shot over a driver's license because that was the information I got. Uh huh. From watching the video, this wasn't Rob telling me a secondhand story. I watched a fucking video myself, and I went, "Holy fuck! What what has happened? What have we become as people? That that is normal." Yeah. Because there's no there's no opposition to it. You don't see people rioting. You don't see people even protesting. They just give up and say, "Fuck it." There's nothing we can do. I give up. And, and that's what you want. At me. That's what they yeah, want they, you to do. Yeah, and then they point a finger at me because circumstances took me away, and I just kept going. Didn't bother to go back because there's nothing back there. Well, because what you're not sharing in the misery, damn it, and you're supposed to share yeah, in the misery. But I've been I've been called a tax evader to a, a what is it? A, Mooch. Somebody the other day. Oh yeah, I'm a. a I've a, heard that one a, referred to. A drain you. on the economy. We'll see how you are. Oh, my brother loved that. So I, I owe you for that one, big time. <laughs> Ooh, man, wow. The more insulting people are to me, the better my brother treats me. <laughs> so send all your insults to flash somebody at the RLM or on minds.com. <laughs> because he loves to read this shit. And I go, hey, what do you see what this fucker wrote about me? He goes, really? How much do you need? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm joking about that. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, the backup is back. You know, I'm back in the family. So eh, it's kind of nice. Yeah. I told him I'd mention it on the dork table because we're, we're at, what, 30, 25, 30 people get the dork table. Um... But it's my, yeah, it's my little venting place where I can be goofy and tell jokes or be on a rant and tell you I hate the government. And I well, just, you know. I agree with you, just not quite so. Yeah, you're you're yeah. not as extreme as I am. I understand that. <laughs> I really do. I understand how people, y you have to do certain things to survive in a certain way. And I'm the guy that pushes that fucking limit to the edge and says, well, maybe I can do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and my wife tells me, hey, not everybody's like you. And I thought everybody was like me for years and years. And then I hit about. 15 and went wait a minute <laughs> these people are fucking crazy <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Went, oh fuck that's when everything kind of started to fall you know i yeah. started to get that anti-social label from my peers and fellows and such uh... yeah we'll see how you are you're just anti-social in large groups you're not so much anti-social and on one-on-ones and that kind of stuff oh no well, you know, one on one, nobody can nobody can out charm me. I'm I'm a chameleon of sorts. <laughs> I will have to talk to yes. circles about that one. <laughs> circles live in proof, baby. What more do you need? She married my ass. What else you got? <laughs> Check me. <laughs> I mean, you know. Oh, I'm gonna well, have to have a talk with that girl. Okay, you're familiar with the comment, water seeks its own level. Yes. Mm. There you go. Yes. Where you have balance, you have prosperity and peace. Uh -huh. Where you have imbalance, you have city, society, competition, hatred, and death. And disease. So, 
Well, that's as we have proven finally. That's all man-made anyway. I remember I used to tell you this before I found these fucking links to back it up. We're being had. We're being lied to. All this stuff is all bullshit, and I can't prove it, but I'm going to, and now I can. See, there you go. You set your mind to it. And it's other outlaws. This woman is a complete outlaw. She's living in Panama. I mean, come on. She can't go back to the U.S. How much better off can you get as a witness than that? Actually, another doctor that was uh, on a video with Dr. John Bergman, and she is now living in Holland Mm -hmm. with her son. Uh, She moved there because she was getting death threats. And Mm -hmm. um, she's pretty much the same credentials as uh, Dr. Daniels. And her son is vaccine free. Uh Um, The doctor tried to tell her that she needed to vaccinate her son, that it would make him healthy. And she said, my son is already healthy. And the doctor said, well, you need these vaccines. And she said, no, I do not for my son. And the doctor walked out of the room and the nurse came back in and said, you can leave now and don't come back. Mm -hmm. And so she did. They're not paying paying his boat payment. Yeah. That's all that boils down. It's all about money. Everything in your life. Okay, outside of a few close friends and relatives that you'll ever encounter will all be about commerce and facing that is hard because people want to be popular and liked and no, it's about fucking commerce. Mm -hmm. There you go. The people in your life that don't charge you a fee or don't, you know, don't encourage spending. Those are your friends. People that go, don't give two flying fucks about money one way or the other. Those are the truest friends you're ever going to have. Yeah. You know? And then I'm spoiled. I got a brother that's like that. I got a wife that's like that. I had a, parents that were like that. The people that were the closest to me through my history have been pretty much like me as far as uh, whatever there is. You know, you use whatever's in front of you. It doesn't belong to me so much as yeah, help yourself. You know, I can't eat it all. You eat some. That kind of mentality went into my life. I was strong in this area, and I could accomplish that. So that was my, you know, part to the pie, and that afforded me the right to do this and that. You know, like barter instead of payments, yeah. cash payments. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I did that on and off my whole adult life. When other people were doing the nine to five and crying about, I can't find work. I'd create work out of nothing, make art, people buy it. Oh, see, so you didn't need a shovel-ready job. Damn, you are such an overachiever. Well, the strange part about society is there's always a percentage of it that has money to burn. Yeah. And people with money that burn like to show off. And what do they like to show off? Sometimes art. Hey, I got this crazy guy from California painting a kid mural in my kid's room. You got to see this. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Or, you finished that. Oh, wow. I had this amazing with... piece of furniture that was built by so and so and so and so. Never did a furniture thing, but yeah, I did glass etching and I did painting. But my kids. It was, a, it was enough. My kids did that. And it was, you know, mm-hmm. they. Well, when they were still living in the UK, and it actually cost more to. Of course, they didn't have to mm-hmm. pay the shipping because the business that she worked for shipped stuff back. But. It would have cost more to ship it back than what they paid for it, but it was reclaimed wood off of ships, and they made furniture out of it. So, you know, my kids' dining room table and the bench and the chairs and all that fun is reclaimed wood. And it to them, you know, everybody over here in the States is like, wow, where'd you get that? That's so cool. And apparently mm-hmm. where they were living in England, it was not that rare of a thing. So, you know, it that's kind of the way I equate that is, you know, you got the money, you spend it on something that you really like, and then everybody else all of a sudden goes, wow, that's cool. I, I want, want some. One. Yeah. Yep. I lived like that for, you know, years here, year there, depending on what, where I wanted to go. But, oh, you can't do this. And, oh, you, I grew up listening to all the things that I couldn't do. And most of the things that I didn't do – it were by choice. Like my brother and my dad loved to skydive. And when I was 16, I was the older brother. My little brother's jumping and I didn't want to do it. 
So I was like, just about, it must have been 17, because Alan had to be 16 to jump. So I finally went up the plane with him and put a parachute on, but I didn't jump. I told him, well, I'll look out the door, but I don't really want to do the jump thing. They were disappointed, but they settled for that. Uh Uh-huh. You know, but they were crazy. They wanted to do all this crazy, you know, death-defying shit that, no, I grew out of it early. I I see no purpose in jumping out of a perfectly good, fully operational airplane. Okay, but that's you. <laughs> see, that's what I mean. That's kind of like you. You saw no purpose in jumping out of a fully operational airplane. Right. Well, my father would have never driven a car without a legal license plate and all that shit, mm-hmm. but he would jump out of a perfectly good moving airplane with a parachute, mm-hmm. and he called me crazy. Yep. Well, it's like... So uh, it's, all, sir- it's all how you interpret it, Mary, yeah. because... No, to, and and at the end of his life, he changed his mind. I never jumped out the plane, but he still had a driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I kept it too. It's like um, Circle's goodbye message yesterday from the <laughs> RLM. Okay. You know, for sale. No, I don't, what did it say? Um, uh, for sale. Never, never opened. Small stain. Used air. Used parachute. <laughs> and I was like, oh, <laughs> oh wow. small stain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm still stuck on that. What one man see, interprets as insane, the next man doesn't. And it's a matter of how your mind works. And we've been convinced it's legal and moral and ethical and all these fancy fucking words that when you come to the end of the road, none of it's used anyway. So, w- what I've done with my life that worked out for me was going with my gut and doing what I wanted, not what was expected of me. And and they go, well, yeah, but not everybody could do that. And I think, yeah, everybody could. They just don't know how. Yeah. It, it's a mindset. It's like this anarchy thing. Good God, I read all kinds of stupid shit about anarchy all the time. It's not a group. I'm not no fucking group. Me and Grim are not anarchist brothers as far as i'm concerned <laughs> i i mean hey man i i appreciate the rlm and i know you're you know you're a good man and all that but i'm not uh putting myself in a box with you and then expecting you to live up to my expectations but i believe he knows that and i don't think the people looking on understand that level of freedom mental freedom to give the other guy you know, that's what freedom seems to be now to me in the end is not what I do. It's what I allow other people to do. Mm-hmm. And you have a lot of control of what goes on around you in levels of reality that you're not aware of because you're constantly moving. You're in motion. You're making eye contact. You're picking up this. You're putting down that. You're speaking to somebody. And all these interactions do things. And you control yourself through them so that you don't act out and do something stupid or uh, not look where you're walking and walk into a thing or something, you know, something uh, accident prone sort of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's so much more going on than I'm aware of that I try to be aware of some of it when I'm doing it. Uh, (laughs) Grimner, you well, how I mean it, I I don't really believe that we're in some kind of invisible group. You know, you live your life way the fuck over there in New Mexico and you open up the uh, electronic world so I could play on it. But I would never tell you how to live. And I don't think he would tell ever tell me how to live, which is the only uh, existing thing there is, is that freedom to let the other guy be whatever the fuck he is, even if you don't like it. Yeah. Because I could knock somebody upside the fucking head out there in the real world if I pleased to. I get enough enough cross-eyed looks from, you know, young kids going, you know, growing up, don't know, what the fuck is that in my neighborhood? Oh, you know, that kind of thing. I could take that to a level it doesn't belong on. But I'm an anarchist. So I go out there with a do-no-harm smile, be nice to people, give them a good, you know, give them a good time and have a good time. Yeah. But anarchy's been represented as some kind of violent uh, yes it has burning <clears throat> down the house are you kidding me you you burn my couch and i'm going to put it out and i'm going to ask you to leave i'm not going to get violent over it 
It was an accident. You know, go home when you and come back when you're sober. You burnt my couch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a hard ass about personal shit like that, but um, slap your wife in front of me in front of a in a grocery store and you see something different. Yeah. Well, you know, because we all I'm have from that. I'm from that side of life where you men just do not behave a certain way in a public situation. So at the end of my days, I get a place where that doesn't happen. There People keep their business to their self here. They're not out in public looking for everybody to notice them. It's a different world. It's really something, uh, I don't know, it's like something forgotten, I think. Ah, it's unusual compared to what you're used to. And exotic. Yeah, oh. I went to the store to look for something for Cirque Special today. Anyway, so I go to a store that I i don't usually participate at, and the, the kid and the store had great English. It was like, wow, where's your Danish accent? It was so well-spoken in English. Mm -hmm. So I let him know, yeah, you're going to do good in your classes. People are going to go, wow, you know how to speak you know, Danish and English. And little interactions like that make people happy. Oh, yeah. Does, it doesn't take two minutes. You're in the grocery store already. You know, what else do you have to do but say something nice? Doesn't It doesn't cost nothing. But where I come from, those things were beaten out of us years and years ago, and everybody hates everybody. See, and that, that's just, that's got to be from, from where, where you come from. Because, man, just yesterday, I was, I was at Dollar General picking up some stuff before I headed home from work. And uh, some gal was in there, and she was getting a bunch of hangers for her mom, because her mom's got a, a spring line that, of clothing that she's going to display at her hair salon. And um, we're sitting there just jibber-jabbering and, and talking with the cashier. And and he goes, so how are you doing today? And I said, just peachy. And he said, oh, I haven't heard peachy today yet. And I said, yeah, well, with as cold as it is outside, I'm feeling mighty fuzzy. And she about wet herself. She started laughing starn hard. And she goes, oh, my God, I love that. I lo I'm going to have to start doing that. And see, that's not anything unusual out here. You know, to have those kind of interactions. Um, Small town, yeah. That's yeah. That's what I've learned. That's what I mean. I come from the big cities. Yeah, so, you know. And the big cities over the years, when, from when I started to, to notice what a city was at a young age, to what I found out to a city became as a, an adult, was disappointing, and I'm done. Yeah, I... Because that's what I see is the despair and the, the disappointment. I don't recognize the good in the city anymore. It's just horrible. It's overcrowded and rushed, and nobody has time to be anything more than, let me get this done. I'm in a hurry. Move out of my way. Yeah. No. no. Hustle and bustle, I think, was yeah. definitely invented for city. Yeah. So, you know, when I say things like, you know, hatred, it, I see it in, like, you're driving so fast, you, you wreck your car. You're riding your bike so fast to get from one point to another point to be on time that you drop something and end up 10 minutes late and, and break the thing you dropped. Yeah. Because society has pushed us into this mentality that if you live in a small place without with less stress, it calms you down. <laughs> there isn't any stress here. So I have to go on the RLM to get some stress. <laughs> Without the RLM, I man, I'd have to pick fights with Hannibal. Oh, and, you and you'd lose. Like a fight, so she'd probably win. Yeah. Nah, the wife always win. You can't win a fight with your wife. Are you insane? Yeah. That's a, that's a big train wreck waiting to happen. <laughs> now, I've been with Circle long enough to know that Mama's always right. <laughs> 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 when Mama's not right. Just remember, Mama's always right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You, who's a good boy? Now we know who's a good boy. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I ain't stupid. You kiss the boobs that God gave you. You don't slap them with a tire iron, you idiot. You're supposed to be nice. Yes. And, and as far from nice as I am, I'm, I do better than I think, I suppose, but... I don't feel like a nice person. My brother's always on my bat, my ass about it. God damn, you're so fucking mean. Blah, 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 blah. Go, yeah, well, think about it. But he remembers, you know, what happened when we were growing up. So he knows what made me 
the way I am. Ah. <laughs> yeah, well, it's funny how people soften, have, you know, at the end of their life, and and they they real they realize the mistakes that they made in the first twenty or thirty years. Oh, are they mistakes or are they learning? Sure, are some they learning are, points? No, no, some of them are just bull, just boo boos. Things that you wish you didn't do is a mistake, and he did a few things he wished he didn't do. Well, there there, there's but a few them. things that I wished I hadn't done, but That's looking back on the, on the yeah. grander scheme of things, I see them and I go, but if I hadn't done that, then I probably would have gone, because I still know. remember, yeah. no, I still remember the alternative choice, and I probably would have gone there, and then I stop and think, okay, that would have changed the whole timeline, and I wouldn't be where yeah, I am, yeah, and yeah, I like yeah. where I am, so. Yeah, you're looking at the end results, and I, I'm talking about the anger and shit that goes into the event that put you in that position never leaves you. You might think it do, it does, but it doesn't. You just got to control it and let yes. it go, uh, forgive it or something. But but carrying it on into the to the future from the past, the negative will always fuck you. That's yeah. how they beat us too. They keep us negative, fighting amongst each other about absolute nonsense that's not even true. Oh well, yeah, isn't that Trump, the way it's supposed to be? Fuck Trump in the butt with his wife's dick. I don't, and and his wife. You and your Melania Trump. I mean, I was making jokes to Cirque the other day. I told her, yeah, this woman blows her way all the way to the White House, and everybody thinks about what a great what a great woman she is, how hard she worked to get where she is today. Yeah, that's what she did. She worked real hard. Uh, <laughs> that's a matter of personality, though, I suppose. Yeah. But you got to think about Look at the dogs that she sleeps with and then tell me that you respect her. I can't. That's my opinion, not yours. I'm just standing up on the side that I'm on. Yeah. And I'm on a side on this one, which I don't normally do. But now you don't get that kind of wealth without fucking other people over. Mm, well, okay. Don't Trumple Stiltskin. Don't the White yeah. House because you're a nice guy and good women don't marry Trumple Stiltskin. And if they do, he divorces them and looks for another one. He found he found his match in that woman. She looks pretty on the outside, but there's more to her than you can see. Well, there's more to everyone. Aha! You admit it. There's more to everyone you than you can Aha. see. See? So what you're saying is there's even the possibility I might be right. <laughs> I didn't say that. Actually, no, because my reality is different <laughs> than yours. No, we, we agree on this point. You see things your way and I see them mine. Mm -hmm. And in the end, and after a year or two of arguing... It's usually we will end up at the same point at that at that time. And right now you're still on your journey on it. And then so am I. Yeah. I might change my mind, but I doubt it. It doesn't look like I'm going to. <laughs> well, see, and I'm, I'm very I'm, open minded. Mary. <laughs> I'm I'm of a mind that I really do feel sorry for him. I really yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Part of me does. Yeah, because they're on display like trophies. It's just. There's no humanity in it. It's just a bunch of like a show pony thing. And and it's all representing a bunch of hate and garbage anyway. So why bother with it? But it's all we have. So yeah. this is what we do. Well, and I, I've tried to break away from it. And all I get is uh, I get name called and uh, eh. oh, you think uh, you're so special. Well, you I know, get a lot of insults and every because, time you get all that, I just think sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never harm me unless <laughs> well, <laughs> there's always yeah, that unless when Cirque starts hitting me with sticks and stones, I'll know the boobs have failed me. Oh, oh, See, Grimmy says he thinks that's trumple foreskin and that's why he's <laughs> called a schmuck. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Wow. Well, and, I, it, and it doesn't matter what person sits in that seat. It's the seat that's evil. It's the job that's evil. It's it's the design of the game that's evil. And the misrepresentation to the public and the lies over all this time. And here is the truth right in front of you. All you got to do is look at it. And 95% of the people don't want to know. So we're just struggling along looking to fill up the five so we can change shit. 
Ah. There's people teetering. They're not there yet. They're, I told you a long time ago, they're not desperate enough. When you start seeing all these sites flood and people really dumping uh, what you call it, Facebook and Twitter, and they, they abandon it because it's bad for them, then that, that'll be the change. But what's going on now is just uh, cannon fodder to keep the game alive. It's a, it's a performance. It's a show. Like the stock market, up, down, up, down. Everybody likes the roller coaster. It's gambling, people. It's a manipulated, fucking fixed market, and you're just watching them perform, and you think you're getting somewhere, and you're not. But it's fun to watch, and that's my opinion, not theirs, but that's what I think. Ah, that's what you that's think. That's why I'm so popular, Miss Mary. That's why I got ah. 12 listeners. Okay. Cool. That's right. And you know what? Well, maybe 11 of them are because of you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my, wife, my wife is my hostage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for playing and let me rant and all that. Oh, yeah. We well. really, really got a lot. Got to get people to listen to that doctor, Dr. Jennifer Daniels. Daniels. Yes. And she is the fucking bomb. Yes, she is. And I found, I found her page as well on... Um, on the interwebs so uh, ooh, yeah apparently she's got quite a few blog people. posts on there so yeah yeah in any case find out people it's disappointing as hell but once you find out it will open doors that you didn't know were there that's the whole point trying to help you not insult you if you're insulted it's because you got fucked by them not me <laughs> Ooh, yeah i'm not trying to hurt anyone really well yeah oh well i want to help people there's it, just no way to do it. It's hard. Yeah. Well, people got to help themselves. That's the key. Yep. So. Yep. But they got to hear it from somebody, and I like being the idiot that brings it to their attention. Oh, there you I go. Like, I must like getting slapped around or something. Oh, you're into it. He was into whips and things. She was into pain. Okay. Um, <laughs> Y'all been listening to The Dork Table here on RealLibertyMedia.com. Be sure to check back tomorrow at noon Eastern Time. Grimner will be playing the blues. Directly following Grim will be Hal Anthony, who's going to open up a can of whoop-ass on you.